Hello everyone, I never expected that. Beat four eggs into the shredded potatoes. It turns into a classic delicacy in no time. Many people have never seen or eaten like this. I guarantee you'll never forget it after eating it once. The method is very simple, nutritious and delicious. Let's see how it's done. First prepare a larger potato. Peel off the skin with a peeler. After peeling, cut into thick slices. Try to cut it as thinly and evenly as possible. This way the taste will be better. Then change the knife and cut into thin strips. Try to cut it as evenly as possible. Friends who are good at knife skills can also use a grater to grate into silk. After everything is cut, put it into a larger bowl. Cut the potatoes into shreds without washing them with water. Pour in four serious eggs directly. Because potatoes themselves are rich in starch, we need the starch in potatoes to set the shape. Then use chopsticks to break up the eggs and stir evenly. Let each potato shreds be evenly coated with egg liquid. Mix well and then add a pinch of salt to it. A little pepper. Stir thoroughly with chopsticks. Mix well and set aside to marinate for 5 minutes. Let's prepare another tomato. Make a cross knife on the top. Then put it into a small bowl. Pour on boiling hot water. Blanch the tomatoes. Wait for peeling. After blanching, remove the skin from the tomatoes. Then change the knife and cut into thick slices. Don't cut off the bottom. Then turn it around and cut into strips. Don't cut off the bottom. Finally cut into small dices. After everything is cut, put it into a bowl and set aside. Prepare half a green pepper. Deast and cut into thin strips. After cutting, change the knife and cut into small dices. Cut it and put it in a bowl. Prepare half a red pepper. Shred first. Then cut into small cubes. Cut it and put it in a bowl. A handful of cleaned green onions. Cut the green onions with a knife. Cut it and put it in a bowl. 20 grams of peeled ginger cut into minced pieces. Cut it and put it in a bowl. Next prepare a small bowl. Add a spoonful of light soy sauce. A little bit of dark soy sauce to color it. A spoonful of oyster sauce. A spoonful of sugar for freshening. Finally add half a cup of water. Mix thoroughly with a spoon. Set aside for later use. Then add a little oil to the pan. After the oil is hot, slowly pour in the eggs and potato shreds. Fry slowly. Use a shovel to tidy it up. Arrange in a circle. Fry the bottom until it is set. Then gently shake the pan. Let it heat evenly. Fry until set on one side. Think of a way to turn it over again. Fry both sides until golden. After golden on both sides, take it out and set aside for later use. Then you don't need to wash the pan. Add a little oil. After the oil is hot, add the onions and ginger and stir fry until fragrant. Then add the diced tomatoes and stir fry evenly. Saute the tomatoes. After frying, pour in the prepared sauce. Turn on high heat and bring to a boil. Mix evenly with a spatula. Add the fried potato pancakes. Then cover and simmer over low heat for 3 minutes. When the time comes, let's open it and take a look. Wow! It smells so good. Add the green and red peppers as well. Then cover it and simmer for about 1 minute. When the time comes, we open the lid. Wow! It smells so good. This potato egg pancake really gets more delicious the more you cook it. Then turn off the heat and take out the pot. A very delicious potato egg pancake is ready. Potatoes and eggs are a nutritious and delicious combination. Sucking in enough tomato juice, appetizer and meal. Very suitable for the elderly and children. If you also like it, quickly collect it and try it. Hello everyone. Put the potatoes into the oil pan and fry them. The moment it comes out of the pot, become a signature dish of a 5-star hotel. He actually sold potatoes for 2 yuan for 88. Everyone who has eaten it says it's good. Both adults and children love to eat it. And it's very simple. Let's see how it's done. First prepare two potatoes and wash them. After cleaning, use a peeler to peel the skin. Be sure to choose larger potatoes for this dish. And it needs to be longer. This way the shape will look better. Peel the potatoes and cut them in half in the middle. Then remove the head and tail. Then put a pair of chopsticks on both sides of the potatoes. Then change the knife and cut into thick slices. What should be noted here is not to cut off the bottom. When cutting, try to make it as evenly thin and thick as possible. After cutting it, just like me, after everything is cut, put it into a larger bowl. Then add a tablespoon of salt to it. 
Then put the salt with your hands. Spread evenly on the potatoes. Salt can pickle the water out of potatoes. This will make the potato softer. Then pour a little more water into it. Let it soak for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes our potatoes will be soaked. Look at the potatoes we soaked like this. Become very soft. No matter how you fold it, it won't break easily. Pour in a little more water and rinse it again. Wash off the salt on the surface. After cleaning, squeeze the water out by hand. Just like this. Set aside for later use. Let's prepare a small bowl. Pour in more starch. Then put the potatoes in the starch. Coat it evenly with a thin layer of starch. Here every piece of potato has to be coated with starch. This will make the potatoes more crispy. After applying everything evenly, give it a shake to shake the starch on the surface. Finally it's like this. Let's prepare a piece of ham sausage and put it in the middle of the potatoes. Then fix it with a toothpick. Insert two toothpicks like this. Finally, it will be in the shape of a lantern. After everything is done, put it aside for later use. Let's prepare a small bowl. Add two tablespoons of orange juice concentrate, two spoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of sugar, a spoonful of white vinegar, three spoons of water. Mix well with a spoon. Set aside for later use. Next, pour a little more oil into the pan. Turn on the fire and heat the oil to 70% heat. After the oil is hot, slowly put the potatoes into the pot. Don't touch the potatoes when they are just out of the pot. Fry the starch on the surface of the potatoes until set, so that the starch on the surface will not come off. Spoon the oil over the potatoes. Fry one side and then turn it over. Let it heat more evenly. Fry until the potatoes are golden and crispy, just like this. Then control the oil. Take it out and put it on a plate for later use. Then leave a little oil in the pan. Pour in the prepared sweet and sour sauce. Turn on low heat and simmer slowly. Boil the sweet and sour sauce until thick, just like this. Then add a tablespoon of oil. This will make the color of the dishes brighter. Mix well and then turn off the heat. Pour the boiled sweet and sour sauce over the potatoes. Wow, it smells so good. The color is also very beautiful. Looks very appetizing. Sprinkle some black sesame seeds at the end. It's delicious. A good looking and delicious lantern potato is ready. It tastes caramelized and crispy. Very delicious. Sour and sweet sweet and sour sauce. Children also love to eat. When entertaining guests, make such a plate. Also very face saving. If you also like it, quickly collect it and try it. I will update different food videos every day. Like my video. Just follow me. Thank you for your support.